During the last couple of months, uh, I've shared a number of documents uh, with you uh, on this channel, uh, which were the strategy documents. Uh, and I've also presented uh, certain strategic frameworks. Uh, I mean, these are not the ones which, we, which, are, which are already uh, prepared and being implemented. These are the ones that I'm proposing uh, for, you know, any time if uh, in future, uh, you know, government wants to take a certain direction, uh, they can use these strategic frameworks to develop their uh, strategies. So uh, strategy is going to be something that we'll be discussing. Uh, we've been discussing and we'll be discussing uh, it in future as well. Uh, we must also have some understanding of what a strategy is. So today uh, we are going to talk about what, in my view, uh, the strategy is and what are different uh, layers or levels of strategies. And maybe in, in, in coming few weeks, we'll also have some videos uh, well, I'll share uh, at least the frameworks that I use uh, to formulate uh, various kind of strategies. So uh, while I was preparing for this recording, uh, I did a little Google search and uh, looked for uh, the definition of strategy at Google. And, and this is what I've discovered. Uh, so according to the Google, uh, the strategy is where you focus your efforts to achieve uh, your objectives which is pretty straightforward. I, I agree with it in most part. Uh, but if I have to give a definition of my own, uh, it would sound something like uh, a strategy is a set of activities uh, that one performs to achieve goals. And then, uh, so this, this uh, so far it's quite close to what Google has told me. Uh, but I'll also add another layer uh, to this definition. And I'll say that uh, it is coupled with the criteria to my performance. So there are three main components to it. Uh, the first two are common with the Google definition and mine. And then I've added the third uh, criteria. So the first criteria is that there needs to be a goal, uh, something, an objective that we need, we want, wish to achieve. Uh, the second is that we, there are activities or a set of activities that we must perform to achieve uh, that goal. And the layer that I have added to this definition is that we must, in the start, in the beginning also, I mean, while we're making this strategic framework, uh, we should make it part of it that we define the criteria to measure the progress uh, of strategy uh, towards achieving its goals. Uh, and uh, so that, that measurement or that criteria uh, should also be part of the strategy. So you see, uh, strategy is not really uh, as complicated as sometimes we uh, like to portray. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. You, you have a goal and how you want to achieve those goals and how you'll uh, measure your performance towards achieving those goals. So if I can make it uh, slightly more easy by giving you uh, examples. Uh, so a goal can be, uh, let's say in context of Pakistan, that we want to produce cheap electricity. Uh, so that's the goal. Uh, the, the strategies which we may uh, consider or evaluate uh, can include constructing uh, small and big dams. Uh, on the other end, we have uh, solar, solar uh, electricity uh, production. We can build solar parks. Uh, the third criteria can be uh, building electricity uh, from, uh, let's say, uh, wind, the windmills. Uh, maybe the fourth one that we may want to consider is uh, using the uh, waste, uh, especially the farm waste, uh, to produce electricity. So uh, we uh, these are the alternatives. Another possible example can be, you know, this wall in my house, which is which is large and quite empty and quite characterless. So uh, we were just discussing that uh, you know we need to do something with this wall because it doesn't really uh, show any character. It's not. It's very uh, pale uh, in comparison to the rest of the house. So. Uh, a strategy can be to paint that wall, you know, make some paintings on it, or maybe to hang some pictures, uh, maybe to uh, construct a shelf where we can place small decorative pieces there. So the goal is to make the wall uh, look less uh, uneventful, and this, there are a number of strategies that we can take uh, to make that uh, happen. Uh, so this is another example. The one that I like to uh, quote one which I feel has the 100% success rate is that of a hungry child. You know, whenever the child is hungry, it, it cries 
and it always gets its its milk or food so you know pretty pretty uh, successful strategy because it generates results almost every time so these are some of the examples which i think uh, will help you not only understand what a strategy is uh, the goal the activity and the performance maya uh, but also to simplify them for you so you can see that it's, it's there's no it's not really something fancy So strategies can be uh, applied on all uh, the different levels. Uh, so at, you know, at the macro level, there can be a national level strategy. Uh, for example, the monetary monetary policy or monetary strategy or fiscal policy or fiscal strategy or the way uh, our government has uh, determined that we'll use CPAC for the connectivity uh, for nationwide connectivity uh, within the markets uh, in Pakistan. and also for export so so these are the national level or or in in case of uh, corporation there can be several strategies which can be developed at at a big whole co corporate level uh, so these are the uh, most highest level of strategy now the second tier in my uh, is that of a sector level strategy where uh, we group uh, a certain common industries or enterprises together and uh, define them as a sector for example the agriculture sector the engineering sector uh, livestock sector uh, so this is the second layer of strategy this is the layer where i mostly operate at uh, and then there is also the organizational level strategies uh, where you know a single smaller organization uh, can can be given support these organizations can be uh, in in uh, uh, public sector or in private sector and this is another area where i uh, operate where i do formulate strategies uh, specifically Uh, in the public sector organizations so there can also be the organizational level of strategy which is third layer and perhaps the fourth layer would be that of functions so within an organization there are different functions and we can also formulate uh, strategies at the function levels for example uh, there can be a communication strategy uh, for the marketing department of a private sector organization or there can be a communication strategy for the information uh, department within the various public sector organizations Uh, there can be production strategies and there can be uh, sales strategies so strategies can also be uh, developed at the fourth level which is the level of a function uh, or 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 a department uh, uh, and then uh, of course is the fifth level of strategy where uh, we really develop a strategy for a for a personal brand uh, like myself uh, and you know uh, or 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 an individual uh, level strategy so so strategies can be developed from again topmost level at 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 a level of a nation uh, such as our country pakistan or at a level of corporate uh, companies like coca cola uh, gillette and so on and then uh, they can be also developed at at the uh, organizational level the sectoral levels and so on when it comes to formulation of a strategy uh, i believe there are two uh, primary distinctions here Uh, one is where a strategy is informal and it evolves with time uh, so for example you know uh, uh, a crisis comes in and you respond the organization responds to a crisis uh, and and something which they do uh, they feel that it is something that can be continued or repeated again and that kind of service becomes part of the organization over all strategy or you know some new uh, and uh, some some new executive comes in and says that okay we need to focus on this we need to do this or add this specific service to our uh, offerings uh, and uh, you know once they do it they find out that it it's quite effective and they want to continue with it so this is a form of an informal strategy where we don't uh, conduct a formal uh, assessment uh, sometimes we don't even define the goals in a formal way and uh, we don't put it down on a paper so this is more of an organic form of strategy so even in an organization where there is no uh, written strategy i believe there is always some strategy that is at work uh, and this uh, can be defined as the uh, organic or or uh, informal strategy on the other hand uh, we also have the formal strategy where uh, uh, you know after applying a certain predefined methodologies uh, which people like me there are other experts also are trained in Uh, they apply those predefined methodologies to evaluate the situation to understand the environment uh, based on them uh, create 
the 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 goals and the objectives working with the organization uh, finds out the best ways or the best activities to achieve those goals and the measuring criteria so in terms of formulation of a strategy there is an informal strategy which is which is which is by default there and then there is the formal strategy uh, where we follow a process to uh, really formulate uh, perhaps as an outcome uh, a written document a strategy document uh, for an organization or for a sector uh, and so on so in this uh, first and introductory video on uh, strategies uh, we have discussed uh, or uh, explained to you various definitions uh, of the strategy uh, the then presented to you with uh, several examples of uh, strategies uh, levels of strategy and finally uh, very different ways or the two ways where how the strategies are formulated uh, going forward we'll also uh, present to you uh, at least my methodology in formulating uh, an organized or a formal uh, strategy uh, do you tell me what do you think about uh, this video do you find it uh, useful uh, so i can make adjust myself accordingly uh, and hopefully uh, bring to you better more informative more useful more helpful uh, content on this channel thank you